Uh, some of the biggest challenges I face on my project is taking content from a variety of sources and, take, and making that content available through a bunch of different publishing channels. For example, we take uh, procedure documentation and we need to publish that for hard copy documentation that's used in a classroom. We also need to make that material available for use on the web as part of an online help system. So having an integrated solution that enables us to write it once and publish it through many channels is a tremendous benefit. The audience for our communications tend to be end users of large computer systems. I work in the government industry, so our clientele is uh, public service workers, uh, typically in health and human service agencies. And what I hear from them is that they are very, they're working in very demanding jobs and they don't have time to find information. They need the answer quickly. So they are looking for a way in which they can get answers to questions quickly. Uh, so having uh, tools available to them that enable them to quickly search and find information, see how this is relevant uh, to their job, and to see what other peer workers, what their peers think about that material is very beneficial because it helps them to really channel their efforts and focus on the documents that, you know, that, that provide the most value to them doing their job. Uh, there's a variety of trends that are affecting the work that I do with Accenture, uh, one of which is around e-learning. Uh, there are a whole host of products that are available on the market today that support e-learning. Uh, one of which is Adobe Captivate, there are several others. And what I'm seeing is with the clients that I work with is they are operating under very tight budgets. And with their tight budgets, they're looking at the total cost of ownership of e-learning solutions. And with some product vendors, their licensing costs are very, very high. And they tend to charge uh, agencies based on the number of users who avail themselves of the resulting product. Uh, I'm happy to say that Adobe doesn't have that kind of price model. They just charge on a developer seat basis and that makes it a very cost-effective solution for large government implementations. So that's one uh, trend I see. Another one that I see is uh, looking at documents and how uh, we're going to go ahead and maintain documents, uh, develop and maintain documents collaboratively uh, and make those documents available through a variety of channels. For example, making a document available in a hard copy format, making a doc same type of content repurposed for use in an online help system. And what we're seeing is with the advent of technology like the iPad and the iPhone and other mobile technical communication with mobile devices, uh, we're seeing that um, having a solution that can get documentation out to a mobile device from a single source is a tremendous benefit. Governments are currently looking at how they can uh, take advantage of, of devices that their workforce use on their personal lives, like smartphones and like tablet computers, and seeing how that they can incorporate those capabilities into the job. And uh, having documents that you know, can easily be kind of repurposed for that platform is very uh, interesting to the clients with, I, with whom I work. Key takeaway from the conference is that Adobe is at the forefront of technical communication. They have produced a suite of products that give teams like mine uh, tremendous capabilities for meeting the needs of my client. The TechCom Summit has been a tremendous opportunity for me to network with uh, colleagues from the profession as well as to meet with thought leaders from Adobe. It's been an excellent experience.